Yo, what's going on guys? This is Shadow Dragon here and we are back with Doki Doki Literature Club. And um, we're not in full screen, just give me a second guys. Um, yeah, last time... Oh, we found Sayori in our room. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen that, please check out last episode. It, honestly, it really messed me up. So, we are back to see what happens after we have to Sayori with... Monica here, who I incredibly find guilty of this, because it's BS, so let's load the game. That's right, we're up to poems, yeah. Alright, we'll go for another. Um, don't, Leary or Natsuki? Honestly, I like Yuri more. Uh, no, 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 I'm just gonna go with it. Let's go Doki Doki, so it's Natsuki. It's cool, let's do Natsuki, why not? Um, Kitty? Uh, mouse. Giggle. Um, chocolate. Silly. Um, fun. Matsuki's not fun at all. She's really judgmental. No, she's not that bad. Um, oh crap, we're getting good. Um, horror, shopping, nature, fantasy. Fantasy, jumpy. Um, joy. You're the most depressing one in the club, Yuri. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, that was a little harsh, but what the heck. Okay, nothing there. Uh, time? Uh, Raph, hurt. Uh, ah, sunny. Smile. Special. And accidentally clicked one without looking at it. Good job. <laughs> Hi again, Shadow. Glad to see you didn't run away on, uh, away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. I'm here to stay because we don't remember our friends. And uh, This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everybody else is already hanging out. Uh, what the hell happened to my face? Oh, just going to ignore that, okay? Um, oh, thanks for keeping your promise, Shadow. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, that's Suki Chul! Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged in by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come and hang out or what, but if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Yeah, that sounds pretty legit, though. I can't read you in the way, Monica! Natsuki certainly has a big mouth for someone who keeps manga in the collection club. What? Monica... Monica, get out the way, bro. Well, is that rare? Is that meant to happen? Natsuki finds st herself stuck between saying Monica and Menga. Menga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Ah, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Shadow. We'll, we'll make sure to put you in your comfort first, okay? Uh, Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Uh, anyway, uh, now that you're in the club and all, uh, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well... I can't really say no either way. Uh, well, like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Ooh, wait, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, 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 if you really don't want to, then forget anything, forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, no, it's not like that, Yuri, okay? I want to try to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'll be ha I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Uh, are you, are you sure? I, uh, it just, I just feel like, well, as vice president and all, she's the vice president, so I, I think we covered that last episode, I can't remember, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into a bag and pulls out a book. Uh, uh, I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, we could do what? Um, out of context, don't don't think about it. Ah, uh, discuss it if you really wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I would like, despite me not reading much. Uh, Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Alright, everything seems somewhat normal so far. Uh, phew. Well, you can read at your own pace. Uh, I look forward to hearing what you think. Now everyone's studying, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities. The only thing Monica's gonna kick off is deleting the other characters, man. Oh god. 
But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. Yeah, I think we've got Natsuki's route this time. We didn't do that. We did Yuri last time, so that's good. Ah! I hear Natsuki on an exasperated sigh from, mid well, from within the cupboard. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Are you looking for something in there? Whoa! F and Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What is the point of keeping your collection organized if something else is just gonna mess it up? She said F and Monica. What the heck? That's not Natsuki, man. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and box across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Ah, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out what the other person stands. Like anime. How'd uh, you know that anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, uh, I see. There is a lone volume of manga amidst the stack of various books on the side of the shelves. Are we okay, six minutes in. Go, y'all. Curious, I'll pull out one of the stacks. There it, there it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right in the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that, Phil. I get a closer look at the book set she's, box set she's admiring. Par Parfait Girls? Is that how you said that word? I have no idea. Yeah, it's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. Uh, that's a little harsh. <laughs> if you're really going to judge, you can do it for that glass on the door. She points to the classroom door. Oh, you got told to get out. Hey, oh, hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Shadow. You consider this a lesson straight from Luchikov. Don't judge a boo! What? In fact, not sure was it the full first volume of the Parfait Girls in the box. The world's glitching. What the hell's going on? I'm going to show you exactly why. She shows the, shoves the book right into my hands. Ah, uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in a colorful attire, striking animated fem fem feminine poses. All right. It's exceedingly mo. What? Ma? Is that what that says? I am lost. Don't just stand there. Ah. Uh, that super crazy man pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signal signaling me to sit there. Wow, we got there fast. <sighs> Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs won't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Oh, what's that? I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Damn, Sayori and Yuri took a little more persuading, but Natsuki's just like, yeah, let me in there. <laughs> ah, don't you say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crossed her arm and scooches an inch away from her. Well, you had one job, though. Uh, sorry, I didn't exactly expect to be seen this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she got to white notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I've read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Um, maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can so I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. <laughs> oh, that's a nice photo. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me, read. Well... I'm fine with that, if you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. Yeah, I guess so. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Uh, hmm? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just pick mongers for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Oh, you still haven't grown out of that yet. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Uh, I know those kinds of people. Oh, they're around me all the time. <laughs> Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends you don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I'm gravitating towards other losers over time. <coughs> but it's probably hard for someone like you. 
the main character is actually talking a lot in this one. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep up in my room. My dad would beat the crap out of me if he found this. What? What's the... What? Her dad beats her... What? Okay, I've got more respect for her now. Ooh. Holy crap. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, at least it's safe here in the club room. Uh, Set Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Uh, I just can't win, can I? I mean, Monica's probably the better person to know about it. Though, no. well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. But maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, um, so... <laughs> Jeez, that's enough! Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I right, flip the page. Time passes. Well, that's great. Uh, Suki's strange is quiet now. I glance over at her. Oh, she fell asleep. Looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Oh, the way she opens her eyes, though. <laughs> that's, so, that's so adorable. Suddenly, Natsuki claps straight into me. Oh, okay. Hey! Oh! What the hell's happening? Oh! What the hell just happened? Her face! Oh, jeez! Natsuki, are you okay? Monica, what the hell did you do? Oh, God. Ah, here. Mon Monica reaches her bag, puts out a kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and it tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give. Oh, doesn't even fish a sense for stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Shadow. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. No, it doesn't, Monica. You creepy. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Uh, what? Okay, not Snooky first. Oh, I told Natsuki I was interested in a poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Is it though? Ah, uh, okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. I made it specifically for you, okay? First of all, um... Natsuki rephrases my poem. <laughs> Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. She likes it that much. Uh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this one, I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, remember how I said I want to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me dumb poem. Some... What? You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went, you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Uh, so another word, just saying you like it. Uh, I think he's retort gets caught in the throat. Uh, you're so... You just, you just don't understand anything, do you? I already told you I don't have to go announce it to the world like you're self-important. What? Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or loss that she liked my poem. In any case, she still needs to show me yours, right? Uh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Okay. So it's the same one. We've got eagles can fly, mon monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I told you you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. Been through this. People don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style will make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about Super Running is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into this when I realised. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humour her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if not, Suki's feeling proud, then I won't take away from her. Right, Yuri. Ah, uh, mmm, ah, uh, 
You stares at the poem. Oh, a minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh! Uh, uh, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. How do you forget to start speaking? Uh, um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts to words. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay, this is your first time writing a poem, right? In this timeline, yeah. Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? Uh, I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. <clears throat> Ah, oh, so it's that bad. Ah, uh, no! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. Well, I couldn't help but notice that's been several minutes. I haven't really gotten anywhere. Yeah, I might take you a while to get used to people. It's fine, I didn't really notice. What were you saying? Oh, right. Um, uh, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of the new writers. And uh, having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognise in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once you find your train of thought, it's if a demeanour totally changes. Their stammering is completely gone and sounds like an expert. Oh, of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback, but Suki can be a little biased though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri, Yuri is apologizing to herself to me on his not, Suki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dream dreamingly as if that's a great opportunity for her, which stops kind of funny. After all, this is supposed to be a literature club. Okay. The ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Maybe it must be this one. The last remaining street light taps on. We've stood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening wing green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm breathing out of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. Uh, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. No, it's not bad. It's like when your handwriting's too good for people to understand. You know what I mean? What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting's pretty. Ah, uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write lower I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Yeah, we know what that's like. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't a go about a ghost at all, Shadow. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I haven't hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Uh, it's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Uh, just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Okay, Monica. I don't want to show you crap. Uh, how long is the recording going for? Yeah, it's going to be a longer one, guys. Hope you guys don't mind. Monica. Hi, Shadow. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah, no. Good, le glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Shadow. We're all, we're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past. Him. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica in my poem. Mm. I like it, Shadow. 
Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. Uh, if you stay so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. Well, I don't want to deal with that crap. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave any food in the house. So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Her daddy, her dad's a flipping, her dad's a piece of crap. Like, what the hell? She doesn't feed her. He beats her. What? Playing this episode, I'm rethinking Natsuki's character in my head. I like her a lot more now. I'm just saying. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. That's your doing. And we know her. I can see into those eyes of yours. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her now malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. Oh, flip. Monica, you need a filter. But hey, some guys are into petite girls, you know. Nothing you say is okay right now. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. What was what part of that was the bright side, Monica? Anyway, do you want to read my poem? No, no, I don't, but don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes could no longer see color. Are there others in the room? Uh, what the hell is up to? Are there others in the room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks in my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. <clears throat> I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there, swallowing my fears. I brandish my pen. Who's there? <clears throat> are you talking about me? Like the main character in this sense? Uh, so what did you think? Uh, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, that kind of style has got pretty popular nowadays. That is a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. I'm probably not even reading them correct. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry again for coughing, guys. Um, yeah, when performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Um, well, I'm not sure if I really know how to put it. I guess you can say that I kind of had an epith epiphany recently. Yeah, you took my friend away. It's been influenced my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I kind of, I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other, more like when nobody else is here. <clears throat> anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story. Your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oof! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. If they just being nice, there's no way my poems stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. What the hell is happening to the music? <sighs> this is what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in a notebook. My eyes land on Yuri Natsuki. They gingerly exchange pieces of paper, staring, sharing their respective poems. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this one here because if I do this, it's going to be too long. So if you guys enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.